Let's talk about low T. I'm Dr. Kent DeLay. I'm a board certified urologist practicing in West Columbia, South Carolina. So what is low testosterone? Low testosterone is when a man has a deficiency of the main male sex hormone. It is defined by the American Urologic Association as two testosterone levels drawn on separate mornings where both values are less than 300. It can have a variety of causes and is associated with a number of other medical conditions. Men with diabetes, obesity, and the metabolic syndrome are more likely to have low T. There are a variety of symptoms associated with low testosterone and sometimes these can be very vague. These include decreased libido, erectile dysfunction, fatigue, sleep disturbances, and even mood disturbances. Since it can be difficult to tell with symptoms alone, it is important to get a blood test if you are concerned that you may have low testosterone. There are a variety of effective treatments, which usually include either testosterone injections, testosterone gels applied to the skin, or testosterone pellets which can be placed below the skin. These can all be highly effective in raising the testosterone level safely and making men feel significantly better and like themselves again. There are pros and cons to each treatment. Testosterone injections are the most common method of replacement in my clinic. Most men can inject anywhere from every 7 to 14 days, although some men will need to inject more often. Injections are very effective at raising levels significantly. One of the drawbacks of injections is that some men feel the rising and falling levels in between injections. This can usually be managed with decreasing the dose and increasing the frequency of injections to level them out. Discomfort at the injection site is usually mild. While most men are in instructed to inject intramuscularly, subcutaneous injections are usually just as effective and more comfortable. Testosterone gels are applied daily and work for some men. Drawbacks include variable absorption and thus variable levels. Some men complain of sticky skin and you do have to worry about transferring the testosterone through skin-to-skin -skin contact. There are also testosterone pellets or testapel. This is a short office procedure under local anesthesia where testosterone pellets are placed below the skin and absorbed over a period of months, meaning this procedure is only needed a few times per year. There are also oral and nasal options, but these are limited by expensiveness and other issues. Men who want to father children should consider alternatives to testosterone replacement therapy as testosterone replacement can cause infertility. Finally, I want to address that some men have been told that testosterone is bad for your heart. It's beyond the scope of this video to review the studies, but the bottom line is the studies which suggested concern have major flaws. The more likely issue is that men with low testosterone are at baseline at higher risk for heart events. There is no convincing data that when testosterone is administered by a qualified doctor who monitors therapy, there will be an increased chance of heart attack or stroke. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, please like and subscribe and turn on notifications so that you can see future content as it is released.